Hey everybody, uh, let's do a little bit of this assignment together and hopefully it'll make sense uh, how to figure out some of the pieces and so you can do the rest of it on your own. Um, so I've rearranged the, the Google Doc just a little bit to make it a little, a little bit more sense here. And so if you would like to rearrange yours, you're welcome to do so, but you do not have to. So right up here at the top, it says right here that uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at these four starting heights in a ramp down below. And it says, watch the trials in the video playlist below and record the data in the data tables. That's what we're going to do. So here's this data table. Uh, some of this information, uh, we don't need the video playlist for to begin with, right? So that's here with the heights. So based on the fact that we have these four different distances up the ramp, and we know that we're at an angle of 2.2 degrees, I need to go ahead and figure out these four heights. I'm going to use this equation here, which is the sine of the angle times the distance up the ramp here in order to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a, a new tab here, and I'm going to go to um, Desmos Scientific, because it's a handy dental uh, calculator that I can do some work on. And I'm going to use this here to be able to say I need to take the sine of my angle. So I'm going to put in sine. And then I'm going to put in the angle itself, which is 2.2. I'm in degrees already, which is fine. And then I'm going to multiply that times the height in meters. So the starting height in meters is 0 0.20. And I could just leave it as 0.2. But this is 20 centimeters or 0.2. And what I get here is this 0 0.007677. Wow, that's a really long number. I'm going to round it to I have two kind of significant figures or two decimals here that I can work with. So I'm going to use 0 0.0077 in order to do that. So I'll go ahead and come back over here. And I'll put in 0 0.0077. And that's in meters already, so I don't need to write anything else down there. Uh, and this meters is from here. The next one, and I want to do it at 40. So I'm going to go back, and I have the exact same equation here. But instead of putting in times 2, 0, I'm going to put in times 4, 0. That gives me 40 centimeters. Now I have 0 0.015. Three, and I'm going to round to 0 0.015. So I'll come back over here. I'll put 0 0.015. And I'm still going to see the same process here. The next one is at 60 centimeters. And so instead of 0.40, I'll put 0 0.60. And now I've got 0 0.023. So I'll put that back over here at 0 0.023. And one last one at 80 centimeters. So coming back in and putting in 80 centimeters here. And I've got 0 0.0307. So I'm going to round up 0 0.031. So here we go. Uh, 0 0.031. So I've got it all. I've got all my heights in meters. So that's these quantities here in meters. Uh, right, so essentially this is 1.5 centimeters, this is 2.3 centimeters, this is 3.1 centimeters, um, and as we go. The next thing I want to do is I want to open this video playlist so I can go ahead and look at where these things are in terms of changes in position and changes in time. And I can get both of those at the same. Each of these changes in time are going to be number of frames divided by 240. So whatever the frames I get, I'm going to divide by 240. So I can just kind of put that in here, and the frames is going to go before it. The position, I'm not exactly sure what that's going to look like yet. So let's open this video playlist first and see where we go with it. So video playlist is going to open up. And there are four videos that are here. I want to look at the first one which is this 2.2 degrees, 20 centimeters. So I'm going to open that one up. It's loading here. And here's my ball bearing rolling down its way. I'm going to pause it somewhere in the middle. And I'm going to use my comma and my period keys to be able to walk through this video. And it's a little weird when I'm sharing screen here. So it might be a little hard to do. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find a spot uh, here where I can 
look at my video and and see it in the right location um maybe i'll even make this a little bit bigger here i didn't make it much bigger oh there it goes i knew i could get it so what i'm looking at on this ball bearing is i need to find a place that is easily recognizable and and right now i'm going to choose kind of the place that this ball bearing this meter stick is a little bit uh, clearer here so impacts this meter stick right down here because i think that that is a location that i can easily find again it's the place where this ball bearing kind of just touches the ruler so right now i think that's about at the six centimeter mark right there and if i start counting frames i'm going to go to the next place where that kind of impacts the ruler in a nice easy easy place to look at so i'm going to go forward here's one if i can oh i gotta go back now right, let's put that back at that six centimeter mark there it is all right so here we go we're going to count frames one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so that looks like that same position is right there um, I've moved now from the six centimeter mark to the five centimeter mark, and it took 11 frames to do it. So I'm going to go back over to my original document over here. And I'm going to say that the amount that this has changed is one centimeter, but I'm not going to put it in as one centimeter. I'm going to put it in in meters. So that's divided by 100, which means that it is, yes, one centimeter or 0 0.01 meters. The amount of frames that I counted there was 11 frames. So I've got this 0 0.01 meters, which is the change in position, and it took 11 frames to do that over 240 because that's 240 frames per second. So that means that this is my time. To find out what my velocity is, I'm just going to divide these two things, the change in position over the change in time. So I'm going to come back over here to my scientific calculator, uh, and I'm going to clear this. There we go. And I'm going to put in the, the distance that I traveled, which is 0 0.01, right? That's one centimeter or 0 0.01 meters. And then I'm going to divide this. And I think, yeah, I should be able to put in some parentheses here. Let's do that. We'll put in a parenthesis. And I'm going to take 11 frames and divide that by 240. So now I've got 0 0.01. Oops, I got to divide oh, I might need to do that again. Let's try that again. If I multiply it on accident. So here we go. Let's try it again. So 0 0.01 divided by parenthesis 11 divided by 240. That looks way better. This is uh, distance traveled divided by the amount of time. And I walk away with this equation or this answer over here, which is 0 0.218. I'm going to round that one and it's 0 0.22 is what I'm going to use, just the two decimal points, 0 0.22. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to put that in and I'm going to say 0 0.22. This is in meters per second. And so I'm good to go. I'll do one more of these. Um, if you've got it, you can stop watching the video and, and you can understand, but I'll do one more just for those folks that want to keep watching and finding it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do it again, but this time for the kind of 40 centimeters or 0.4 uh, meter mark. So I got to come back over here to my um, playlist. I'll come down and I want to do the 2.2 at the 40 centimeter. So let's go and open that up. And let's pause the video here, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it better. I'll take a moment, it looks like. There it is. Now I want to again find that position easily uh, where this thing goes, and so I'm going to use my comma and my period keys to walk through this. Uh, I'll see if I can get it lined up at the 7. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, right there, it's at the... Oh, goodness gracious. Stop. Go back. What happens when you tap the keyboard at the wrong time i might actually have to go back down here that's better all right so let's go back to a recognizable position okay we'll use the gate we can we can use whatever we want but right now it is right here at kind of where it touches the gate i'm going to walk it forwards i'm going to say this is one two three 
four, five, six, seven. It looks to be about seven frames, right? So from the eight to the seven was about seven frames, and that's a one centimeter uh, variance there. So I think I can use that. Uh, so I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to say that my change in position was once again uh, 0 0.01, which is the one centimeter or 0 0.01 meters. And I'm going to say that this was 7 over 240, because again, it's the number of frames divided by the frame rate. And then I need to do one last thing, which is divide this by that. So I'm going to come back to my calculator here over here, and I'm going to keep the same 0 0.01, but in, now instead of 11 on the top, I'm going to say 7 on the top, which gives me this new velocity of 0.342. So I'm just going to round it to 0.34, and I can add that in right here. So 0 0.34, and I'm doing pretty well. So I'm going to keep with this exact same process of finding places uh, on my, you know, my video as to where things seem to match up with my ruler. Uh, and then stepping forward with them so I can find points and frames. And I don't have to do a centimeter over time. I could have done two centimeters and figure out how many frames that is. That would work just fine as well. Uh, but nonetheless, that's kind of my process to, to putting things in. Hopefully that was helpful. All right, take care, everybody. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.